A quiet shift is happening inside Israel's weapons program. No announcements, no fanfare, just a new rifle quietly re Today we begin with a quiet shift in modern infantry firepower, one that has unfolded with almost no public attention. Israel's Arad rifle, a refined successor to decades of small arms development, has become an important yet understated upgrade within Israeli units and several foreign forces. It is not a dramatic reinvention of the rifle, nor a futuristic showpiece. Instead, it represents something more grounded, a weapon shaped by real battlefield conditions, harsh terrain, and the evolving realities of urban warfare. Its significance comes not from bold claims, but from the practical demands of the region and the experience of those who use it. Israel occupies a unique place in the global defense landscape. Its security challenges extend in multiple directions. Gaza, Lebanon, the West Bank, and broader regional tensions. These environments range from dense urban areas and fortified structures to open terrain and desert corridors. Because of this, new equipment is rarely designed for theoretical scenarios. It emerges from day-to-day -day operational needs and from the feedback of units that encounter complex threats. The Arad rifle, developed by Israel Weapon Industries, fits precisely within that pattern. Externally, it resembles familiar Western rifles like the M4, yet its design is informed by Israel's long history of adapting existing platforms to suit immediate operational demands. For many years, Israel built its identity around the Teva family of rifles, particularly the bullpup configuration that dominated frontline units. The shift toward the Arad marks a notable change in philosophy. While the Teva excelled in compactness and reliability, certain special operations and tactical units began seeking a rifle aligned with international standards, one that accommodated NATO magazines, optics, and accessories with minimal adjustment. This trend was reinforced by an increase in joint training with Western militaries and the rising importance of interoperability. The decision to offer the Arad was shaped by these factors. Rather than pursue a radical new design, Iwi focused on modularity, maintenance simplicity, and compatibility with global accessories. The goal was not to surprise the world with an unconventional blueprint, but to provide a refined, durable tool that could integrate seamlessly into modern military systems. In this sense, the Arad's impact lies not in bold marketing, but in meeting practical requirements with competence and consistency. A defining feature of the Arad is its short-stroke gas piston system. Unlike traditional direct impingement rifles, which channel hot gas directly into the receiver, the Arad system keeps heat and carbon away from critical components. This is particularly important in environments filled with dust, sand and fine debris, conditions common in Israel and surrounding regions. By maintaining cooler internals, the rifle reduces the frequency of cleaning and increases reliability during extended operations. This design also improves performance when the rifle is fitted with a suppressor, which usually adds pressure and dirt into the system. Adjustable gas settings allow soldiers to tune the rifle to different ammunition types, barrel lengths, or operational needs, especially during suppressed fire. Suppression has become increasingly important not only for stealth, but also for communication and coordination in urban combat. In confined spaces such as alleys, stairwells, and tunnels, unsuppressed fire is disorienting and can hinder a team's ability to move and communicate. The Arad's compatibility with suppressors reflects Israel's extensive experience in close quarters operations where managing sound, recoil, and muzzle flash is critical. Rather than advertise extreme capabilities, the rifle focuses on consistent performance and ease of use under pressure. Initially introduced in 5.5 6x45mm NATO, the Arad later expanded to include a 300 blackout version. This is significant 
because 300 blackout is increasingly favored for suppressed short barrel rolls, particularly in special operations units around the world. It offers improved performance in close engagements and allows both supersonic and subsonic ammunition without major modifications. While Israel does not publicly detail which units use which configurations, offering the caliber indicates an awareness of global shifts in modern tactical doctrine. The Arad's ability to switch configurations without extensive retraining or logistical overhaul makes it appealing to both domestic and international users. The rifle's ergonomics resemble the widely used M4 pattern, an intentional decision to simplify training and minimize the learning curve. Ambidextrous controls, M-lock accessory slots, a free-floating handguard, and adjustable stock options allow operators to configure the rifle according to their roles. By adopting features familiar to Western-trained soldiers, the r reduces the amount of time required for transition and allows for intuitive handling. Its cold, hammer-forged barrels contribute to durability and accuracy, essential for units engaged in repeated demanding operations. While the ERAD is a mechanical system, it is designed for digital integration. Modern militaries increasingly rely on optics, lasers, night vision cameras, thermal sensors, and communication-linked devices. Israel's units, particularly those operating at night or across complex terrain, often combine these devices to enhance situational awareness and coordination. The Arad's rail systems, alignment tolerances, and structural rigidity ensure that mounted accessories hold zero and function reliably. Rather than treat the rifle as an isolated weapon, it is designed to operate as a central component within a broader digital ecosystem. In recent years, Israel has engaged in multiple operations across Gaza, the West Bank, and along its northern border. Though official footage rarely highlights specific rifles, documented images have shown the Arad in the hands of special operations and tactical units. These units often test and refine new equipment before it is adopted more broadly. The rifle's steady presence in these contexts suggests that its reliability, suppressor compatibility, and accessory-friendly layout match the demands of Israel's most specialized missions. Its appearance has been quiet, not accompanied by major announcements, which aligns with the rifle's understated nature. International interest in the Aradid has also grown steadily. IWI already supplies various weapons to militaries across Asia, Europe, Africa, and Latin America. The Arad's alignment with NATO standards makes it attractive to countries seeking to modernize their infantry without fully restructuring training or supply chains. Many nations prefer rifles that do not require unique parts or specialized maintenance, and the Arad's familiar design philosophy helps meet those requirements. Its appeal stems from practicality, reliability, ease of integration, and compatibility with widely used ammunition and components. This trend ties into a broader shift within global militaries. Modernization today is less about dramatic leaps and more about incremental improvements. Soldiers benefit more from weapons that reduce maintenance, integrate with accessories, and operate smoothly in changing conditions than from systems that attempt to reinvent basic functionality. The Arad fits neatly into this approach. It refines established ideas rather than replacing them, providing armies with a dependable platform, suited to contemporary battlefields. Comparing the Arad to similar rifles helps contextualize its role. Against standard M4-style rifles, it offers comparable ergonomics, but enhances reliability through its piston system. Compared to bullpup rifles like the Tava, it provides a more conventional balance that some soldiers prefer especially when using certain optics or suppressors. When evaluated alongside European modular rifles such as the HK416 or the FN SCAR, the Arad offers a similar blend of reliability and flexibility, often at a lower cost and with simpler maintenance requirements. These comparisons show that the Arad belongs to a broader international movement toward modular piston-driven rifles that adapt to diverse missions.
Israel Weapon Industries emphasizes rigorous testing conditions during development. Rifles must withstand sandstorms, mud, immersion, extreme temperature shifts, and impact scenarios. These trials reflect the environments Israeli soldiers are likely to encounter. The durability of a weapon in such conditions matters as much as its accuracy or ergonomics. A rifle that fails during a dusty, prolonged engagement or a sudden change from outdoor heat to indoor humidity is not suitable for modern operations. The Arad's design addresses these practical concerns without attempting to portray itself as an extraordinary or revolutionary tool. Suppressors, once reserved for specialized missions, are now standard among many elite units. Their advantages go beyond reducing sound. They limit muzzle flash, which is important for nighttime concealment, and reduce dust clouds kicked up by firing in arid terrain. They also help protect hearing in enclosed environments like tunnels or armored vehicles. The Arade's ability to operate efficiently with suppressors reflects a recognition of these evolving needs. Its gas adjustment mechanism ensures reliable cycling without excessive recoil or internal stress. Urban combat is one of the defining challenges of modern conflict. Engagements often occur at close range, with civilians nearby, limited visibility and unpredictable obstacles. A rifle must allow quick target acquisition, controlled fire and easy movement. The RAID's compactness, compatibility with advanced optics and stable handling make it suitable for these conditions. It is not designed to replace heavier or specialized weapons, but to give infantry a dependable primary tool in confined, fast-changing environments. For units transitioning from older rifles, the ARAD requires minimal retraining. The familiarity of the controls, weight distribution, and accessory mounting reduces organizational strain. Logistics also benefit from the rifle's compatibility with widely used magazines and ammunition types. These small details support smoother adoption across diverse security forces. The strategic importance of the ARAD extends beyond its mechanics. Its development highlights Israel's commitment to maintaining domestic defense manufacturing, ensuring supply independence during emergencies. It also reflects global trends in small arms procurement, greater emphasis on modularity, standardization, and integration with digital systems. The rifle exists in a world where militaries seek practical, proven tools over experimental concepts. A realistic assessment is essential. The ARAD is not transformative in the sense of introducing entirely new capabilities. It does not alter the fundamentals of infantry combat. Its influence comes from refinement rather than revolution. The rifle embodies a philosophy grounded in operational feedback, consistent performance, and incremental improvement. This restrained, practical approach is often more meaningful than attempts to produce radically new designs. Looking ahead, the Arad is likely to remain part of Israel's small arms landscape and find a place with partner nations seeking modern yet accessible rifles. As warfare continues shifting toward complex urban environments, digitally linked soldiers and frequent use of suppressors, Weapons like the ARAD offer a balanced and adaptable solution. Its understated presence is part of its character, a tool built for real operations rather than for attention. In the end, the story of the ARAD rifle is a story of practical evolution. It reflects the challenges Israel faces the global move towards standardized platforms and the increasing importance of suppression and modularity in infantry tactics. Quietly and consistently, it has established itself as a reliable modern rifle shaped by real experience rather than theoretical ambition. If you found this analysis useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more war updates and global analysis.